2011 saw major changes in the way we shopped. All electronic equipment was given away free with newspapers, while everything else was bought at Tesco's. Now, I was mentioning Tesco earlier on because Tesco mm. always in the news these days. By 2012, Tesco's had a superstore in every square mile in Britain. Tesco were brokering world heavyweight bouts, representing entertainment stars. They were making most of the films that were being made. Tesco's slogan changed from um, every little helps to uh, we control every aspect of your lives. Soon, Tesco's got planning permission to build anywhere in the country, even on the side of a cliff. By then, Britain was fully saturated with Tesco's and the supermarket chain concluded it would have to look elsewhere for domination. And then there was the war with Denmark. It started, of course, because Tesco needed room to expand. For a long time, they'd yearned to create a super state, which was, well, the first retail country. At noon on January the 21st, 2013, Tesco's invaded Denmark with 200 superstores and 1,500 Tesco Expresses. The Tesco thing was a shock, because, because I quite like the Danes. A couple of my occasional fucks are Danes. The Danes are a proud people. They're of Viking stock. What they want is to rape and pillage, to set fire to long ships. They don't want to be walking around a supermarket and seeing Nuts magazine at the checkout next to some chewing gum and a hairnet. That's not what the Vikings want. The war between Tesco's and Denmark lasted just five hours. This is all that remains of Copenhagen. Later in Time Trumpet, we'll be catching up with an increasingly odd Tom Cruise. I'm widely traveled. No, I, I've, I've visited all 15 of the inner planets of the galaxy. 